Good morning, online learners. This is Mr. Rainier's class with us behind my computer. Everybody say hello. Hello. Thank you. That was very nice. Uh, hello. Um, some, for some reason, it's a little bit funny, too, but thank you for saying hello very nicely. Uh, today is September 2nd, 2020, and we have a quiz tomorrow in fourth grade science. It is on Google Classroom. Whether you're at home or in school, you're taking the exact same quiz. To prepare for that quiz, we have study guides that we're doing in class. And I'm just gonna borrow this from the desk and show our online learners. This study guide is on Google Classroom. It's a little bit closer together. Uh, I wanted it on one page on Google Classroom. It's under lesson plans and study guide. So I would study this tonight. While you're taking your quiz, online learners, if some terminology is confusing you, you can refer back to that study guide during the quiz. That's okay. It's okay to know where to look for answers. Last year, even though we had that feature, some people had difficulty with their quiz. These words are getting bigger, harder to understand, and they're not words you use every day. In school, we are doing this study guide. You do not have this at home. In place of that at home, the online learners can do the review questions at the end of the lesson on page A13. So you don't have study guide B at home, but you do have your textbooks. Go to page A13. There's five questions. If you would like, write the answers down. I'm not going to collect it and study those answers. That will help you on the quiz tomorrow. When you get to your 10 point multiple choice, you don't want to be thinking, I can't find this answer. I don't know where to look. I never saw this before. The answers are all on pages A6 to A13. The answers are on your study guide. That's where you find the answers. Okay, we are talking about characteristics of living things. We talked about in our book, there's a yellow duck. It's real. A bronze duck with ducklings behind it. They are not real. Uh, different things we learned about in this lesson, plant and animal cells, simple organisms, and complex organisms. Complex means there's many different things that make up that organism. Okay, so all of this gets ready for our quiz tomorrow. Please have this done by the end of the day Thursday. I'll start checking them Friday. Study your study guide. We know we can get to it in Google Classroom. Wouldn't it be so much easier if we had this committed to memory a little bit so we're not flipping back and forth trying to figure out what it says? Study your yellow vocabulary words. They are always on the quiz. And on your study guide, the area that says key concepts, that's always on the quiz. That's usually, well, it used to be the second part of the quiz, but now with 10 questions, it may, key concepts may appear anywhere in the quiz. Complete the quiz, and you have four journal entries. So you have one every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. If your website isn't working, Google your own classroom, just or your own topic. Just type into Google, characteristics of living things. Other websites come up. Give me a summary of that website. Or pick a page in your book. Say, I summarized page A7. Here's three sentences of what I wrote. Okay, so good luck on your first quiz. Do a good job. Um, we miss seeing you guys here, um, and we hope to see you back soon. We hope things are back to normal, and good luck. Mr. Rainier's class, any questions? No. no. We have one from Orson. Orson, do you have a question? You can watch a video if it shows up on the website, if it's relevant, if, or if it's similar to what we're learning. If you click on that video and it's some advertisement to buy a car or something, you don't have to watch that. And you should never pay for a video or a website. If you're paying for a website, go to a different website. There's no reason to pay for that. That issue came up last year when people were at home. A pop-up would come up and say, it's $6.95. Uh, sign up for this feature. Don't sign up for it. Okay? Just use free internet resources and use your books. And you'll do good. Four points, one for each journal entry, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, ten points on the quiz. 
If there's an 11th question, it's just for fun, and it'll say, just for fun. <laughs> okay. Good luck, online learners. Stay strong, and we'll see you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.